everyone, this is Romy from Narumi. So today I just wanted to do a quick video on um, the use of scissors and rotary cutters. So for a long, long time we've been using scissors, very good ones. Um, there's this brand called Ginga, there's Italian. Uh, it's very nice, it looks uh, actually quite a well, fast cut and clean. However, we were looking for a solution to be a bit more um, uh, um, efficient while we're cutting and um, because a lot of our patterns are straight lines we also have a bit of curves but well, we found that uh, with scissors we're taking this long time to do um, so when on like lots of forums look for the best ones and we a lot of reviews and decided to go for this ones which are called Fiskers um, the first glance of this one is very very good um, it's very ergonomic, so the positioning of your hand is quite natural. We used to have another ones which I don't know where I've left, but they are very bad. You basically have to cut like this. With this ones, you naturally cut how you would do with scissors, just like this. It has a handle on the top to put your thumb, uh, which is really comfy. And then it has this break here, which blocks the blade and if you take it off and put the blade out block it again then the blade is in that position um so if you're going to use it i normally block it so it's easier for you you don't have to be pressing you only have to press with your, th with your finger and then i have drawn a pattern here that we have to cut it is it is a round pattern like curved pattern um this is probably one of the most difficult in terms of cutting, even with the scissors. So I'm just going to show you how fast it is. Um, I'm going to cut half with the cutter and half with the scissors. So you can see the difference um, of how fast it is. So I'm going to start here in the middle. So it's very easy to actually curve. I don't, I'm not doing any, any effort whatsoever. And then I would... See, this is done here. I'm not going to lift it now and I'm just going to cut this straight bit yeah so this is done I'll always take it off and block it and then I go with my scissors which are good scissors and they still take me so when I'm cutting with them I normally have to get to the end of the cut and start over very carefully so it all cuts quite even so it's easy with scissors to always get like a uneven edge and normally especially if you cut fast so you're always trying to cut in a very soft way so I find this is much easier to do for me than the scissors so we were when I was looking on the on the forums even people like with experience were saying they were cutting for a long time with the scissors until they actually tried the rotary cutter and they basically just change their minds. So all these quilters and people that use them basically on a daily basis. So I'm gonna cut as well so you can see quickly a straight pattern, which is even faster. So remember if you're cutting with a rotary cutter, you always have to have a, uh, some sort of mat underneath because you will basically damage anything. Any other surface like wood, any. So you open it, bl block it, And just cut like that. And then I cut these edges because these edges I don't need this edge. There we go. So to me, four seconds as opposed to I don't know ten. So it seems like it's not a lot, but it does make a difference when you're cutting hundreds of patterns daily. Um, it can get very frustrating if you're cutting loads and loads. Um, so yes, I do recommend obviously I have not tried other brands only the other brand that I tried which I can't find in all my mess It's called Ansio, which is not very good at least the model that we have maybe they make a different one um, But uh, this one is well recommended So it's called Fiskus. So if you be cutting lots of stuff It's good for you to save time So yeah, so I hope this helps and uh, see you next time